day. My name is uh, Respa Masharia, of said. I'm uh, the managing director of Exotic Vacations. It's a tours and travel company. And uh, I am a finance graduate. I've uh, worked in a local, one of our local banks here in Kenya for the last 13 years. Uh, I grew up to the level of uh, uh, middle level manager. Then um, after the 13 years, that is when I decided let me quit and now follow my passion. My passion was in traveling. I've traveled since I was young, I'd say since I was young. I credit this to my mother. She was the one who used to take us out, you know, having the Sunday lunches, uh, maybe the vacations over the holidays. So from there, that is when my passion grew in travel. Yeah. And um, from traveling, you're able to experience a lot of uh, different things, different ideas, different cultures. And so after my long tenure in uh, banking, I decided to follow my passion. Right. And that's where I am today. All right, amazing. Yes. And you, you mentioned you've been to Dubai, which is like one of the biggest holiday destinations as well. Correct. Uh, Thailand. Yes. Uh, uh, briefly, tell us what were the memories? How did you get to travel to Dubai yes. and Thailand as well? Okay. Uh, for Dubai, that was my first uh, travel destination internationally. And um, it was a great experience. That is seeing the skyscrapers in Dubai, that is the Burj Khalifa, mm -hmm. there is uh, the desert safaris, and uh, you see like a place like D uh, Dubai keeps on growing every single day. So what you experienced last time is not what you're going to experience the next time you visit there. And uh, that is the, the beauty about travel. Yeah. Every single time you travel, there's something new to discover. Yes. Yes. So okay. it was a great experience. Uh -huh. We went for the, that the Burj Khalifa. There's the water, mm -hmm. you know, the the the, the water on uh, the Burj Khalifa. These uh, the desert safaris. Right. Yeah. These um, the door crows. There was right. a lot to experience. Also the shopping bit of it. Yeah. Yes. It's yes. like everybody is busy. <laughs> it's on to something in Dubai. Actually, exactly. some of the some of the videos and the photos you see is mm -hmm. people are shopping at, at the desert. Mm -hmm. I don't know why the desert is like the common the common place where people go there a lot. Mm -hmm. Did you like get anything that makes people to go to the desert, especially with that huge amount of sand? Yes, uh, so having uh, driving through with the the four wheels. Right. It, it was just an amazing experience. It was an adrenaline kind of rush thing, yeah? So, mm -hmm. you know, here maybe in Kenya we have in the northeastern bit of it, uh, but I think with those machines, uh, the, the, the vehicles, uh, having right. to race through the sand dunes, uh, it right. was a great experience. Great I think that's experience. why people go to, yeah, for the desert safaris. Right. Yes. And I see now why you are a best fit for your business, exotic <laughs> vacations. <laughs> now let's come back to it. Uh, you mentioned it officially started in 2021. Correct. But, uh, You've uh, registered it this year. Yes. Right. Uh, actually, from twenty, I'd say from twenty twenty one, that's when like the pandemic was purely subsiding, mm -hmm. and things were like a little bit picking up in the economy of our country, mm -hmm. especially right here in Nairobi. Yes. So, how did that experience uh, impact you? Were you well financially? Uh, where did you get the starting capital? Had you saved enough maybe from the job? You said you worked at a bank yes. for over thirteen years yes. in that sector. Yes. Had you like saved enough? Did you receive financial support? Did you get a loan? Like okay. static capital, that's what I mean. Okay, yeah. Uh, for I can say for tours and travel, you don't have to start huge. Uh -huh. You don't have to start with the magnitude of money or, you know, a lot of money. Uh, for me, I would say I had a few coins here and there, but uh, what drived me was the passion. Yes, what drove me was the passion to travel because I love traveling and uh, what was holding me back then, you see, I, I had an 8 to 5 job so I wouldn't concentrate much on it. But now after, um, that is in 2021, so I'll do it after work hours and uh, I'd feel that I'm not giving it my all. So in this year, after now I, I quit, sorry, in 2022. That is now when I started to do it mm -hmm. and uh, gave my 100% in it. But um, it's uh, for the capital, I'd say just from a few savings from uh, my work. Yeah. But again, I still insist it's not just about the amount of money. It's yeah. what drives you. It's what is driving you. Yes. Right. Yes. Did you also receive support maybe from your family? 
correct. If correct. you got, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's people who are so low. <laughs> but, yes. Yeah, but were you lucky to also receive uh, family support as yes. well? Uh, as uh, I've said, uh, mm -hmm. my passion was driven by my mom. As mm -hmm. when I was young, she was the one who used to take us out. So when I told her that uh, I'm quitting and uh, starting the uh, the travel company, she was there to hold my hand. In fact, she gave me a lot of referrals from her friends because she also loves traveling. You know, when you, you start traveling, I think it just gets into you and uh, all through, up until today, she still travels. She has friends that travel. So from her, I got the support. I also have my family, that is my nuclear family. I have my husband and all. So they've been supportive and I can say I'm glad so far I've received a lot of support from them. Yeah, amazing. Yes, yes. Which, which is like one of the greatest ingredients of actually staying afloat in, true, in, true. in business, because that's business. Yeah, true. Yeah, uh, your sector is really lucrative. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a lot of strides that it contributes to the economy. Um, I'm also looking at it from a point of, you know, when you're starting, sometimes you're not sure if you're going to get clients. Mm -hmm. So how did you get your first client and how did the interaction did they approach you did you approach them uh, you mentioned you're also massive on social media yes. like uh, is it maybe like one of the biggest channel that you're using to do outreach in terms of client base yeah, in fact uh, social media is our major channel that we're using for marketing though for my startup for my start uh, for my first client it was uh, by word of mouth just the way you go telling out your friends your family mm. that now I'm not into banking anymore I have uh, started a company it's a tours and travel company so if you hear somebody if you want to travel I'm here to go to person and that is how I got my first client uh, thanks to one of my friends who had the word and she was able to spread it to someone else and from that client I got so many other referrals because of uh, the way you treat the clients they're right. the ones who bring back business to you or they refer you to other people right yes and and and, and, that, and that business is very common in, in in Nairobi yes and then also foreigners people who come into the country in and out where mm -hmm. they're looking for places to spend yes. and have a good time yeah. or also safety safety is among <laughs> is among also the core ingredients of that business mm -hmm. so for for your clients exactly with your company if somebody's watching right now and yes. uh, they want to work with you maybe they want to have a staycation because it's mainly vacations, yes. exotic vacations, meaning yes. exotic places. Yes. Uh, do you mind just you know letting them know that this is what I offer as mm -hmm. uh, exotic vacations and mm -hmm. just in case you're looking for me, here's where you can find me and these are the products that you'll enjoy just in case you trust me to okay. offer you services. You okay, oh, thank you. Uh, as, uh, we, we offer as exotic vacations, we offer inbound and outbound destination that is for local and uh, international destinations. For that we have uh, beach destinations that is the south coast, the north coast, um, Mombasa, Malindi, Watamu. We have bush safaris, like currently there is uh, the Mara, there is the wildebeest migration that is ongoing. Mm -hmm. Starts in mid-June, goes all the way to mid-October, right. through to the end of October. So currently this is the peak season of Mara. But they, have they done, they, have they migrated for this year? It's, yeah. usually, it's usually very epic, it like is it's filmed. Epic. Yeah, it is, it is, yeah. very, it is. So the climaxing is around mid-July, mid of this month, to way Augusta. Augusta. Yes, yes, yes. So uh -huh. yeah, it's a spectacular. It, it, it's a a big tourist uh, attraction Correct. also for international tourists as well and it it's historical as well it is, it i've is. never experienced it one though. of the seven wonders you uh -huh. should you one should. of the seven <laughs> wonders man. Yes, you so imagine. if somebody books you or yes. works with you they'll definitely get a chance to experience that correct correct mm -hmm. correct other, other and the services? beauty of it all is that uh, mm -hmm. you see for mara Okay, yeah. not even for not only for Mara, for all other holiday destinations, uh, mm. we have different budget for each person. So what we do at Exotic Vacations, uh, we work within and around your budget. So you come tell us, I want to go to the coast. For the coast, we have the three stars, the four star, the five star. So uh -huh. according to your budget, you tell us, I'm looking at spending this much. From there, we are able to curate something that is specific to your needs. Yeah. Yes, so yeah, we offer those. We offer the beach destinations, we offer the bush safaris, we have weekend getaways, we have staycations for people who just want to go out and relax over the weekend, then go back to their maybe jobs or, or uh, businesses during yeah. the week. Yes, we also have conference packages, we have honeymoon packages. So we are like an all inclusive, a one stop shop for all your travel needs. Right. Yes, and Amazing. yeah. Amazing. Uh, 
what if uh, you mentioned vacation staycation? Yes. <laughs> you, you'll tell us the difference because <laughs> maybe somebody say I'm in vacation. I'm in vacation in Kilimani. Like really, vacation <laughs> in Kilimani? I thought you should be in Diani or something. Yes. And but this past week, I've seen a lot of people go to Diani. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was checking out the Insta story. It's like everybody is in Diani. Was there something happening in Diani? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There this was a, this past weekend. Yeah, this past weekend there was uh -huh. a music concert that was organized by one of uh, the owners of Airbnbs in Diani. So uh -huh. they were able to pull so many people. In fact, that last weekend, it was very tricky having a room or even a hotel in uh, Diani. In Diani. Yes, yes, yes. It was very full, but... And, and, and people experience. like you made a lot of money <laughs> <laughs> from that business. Were you a part you of it or, you, or you, you, are, you are also watching... In the business. From, <laughs> oh, you are in the business. In the business, business. Of it, yes, I'll yes, call yes. Kama Mimi yes. <laughs> 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 You should travel, be there yeah. physically, yes. Because yeah. yes, yes. you know a lot of people also think like traveling is going to the U.S., you know, going to Sijuene, Twajile, and Guinea, Santorini. Santorini, <laughs> Santorini. Greece. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's also among Bali. one of the biggest destinations, Maldives. Yes, you know. Maldives, Bali, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, it's not about uh, just the international. You know, in Kenya, I say like currently, we've not even scratched the service of the destinations that we have in Kenya. Mm -hmm. If I give you a challenge, Mr. Okay. Sakwa, to travel Kenya just mm -hmm. for a month, you'll not even get to 20% of the destinations that we have in Kenya. Uh -huh. It's just that, we, like so many other people, we don't know what is what we have in Kenya until you start traveling. Until you start yes, traveling. Yes, that is, that, is that is the beauty of traveling. You are to able discover. to discover. Mm -hmm. Yes, you discover and you learn so many things. Yeah, there's yes. somebody who's, there's a friend who we, we had an argument way back and he was, telling, he was telling me that, you know, you can even go to a vacation in Bungoma and yes. you'll enjoy. I'm like in Bungoma, bro. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> in exactly. Bungoma, vacation, exactly. what do you mean? You know, yes. pe people have this mindset that yes. the only place you should travel to to enjoy during the holidays is Mombasa, mm -hmm. Diani, and those the rest of the beaches, beaches yes. with E, yes. A, C, A, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. So you wonder, you know, somebody uh, a vacation in Kakamega, I'm like, bro, unakula miu andi? You know, you know, yeah. there are so many places. Like, if I would ask you, do you know any place in Kajedo you'd go for vacation? Imagine, no. Exactly. Kajedo doesn't have a lake. Kajedo doesn't have an ocean. Kajedo doesn't, but there are so many places in Kajedo. You'd go and tell people you're on vacation in Kajedo. Right. Yes, yes. So it's just all about traveling and you learn and discover so many new places. Right. Yes. And, and still on that note, do you feel like maybe um, the marketing mm -hmm. of uh, some of our attractive sites has not been given much weight, even when it comes to uh, advertising, even mm -hmm. in, uh, in that industry as well? Also, maybe the government is not doing enough because, you know, uh, uh, who, who's CS Tourism? That is CS Malonza, right? Penina Malonza. Uh, Penina right. Malonza. Yes. Uh, perhaps maybe she also needs to do something in mm -hmm. terms of also supporting people like you who are in the tours and travels industry. Mm -hmm. Because, like you said, you can still go to a vacation in Kajiado and have yes. fun. Yes. And yes. have almost a close to experience of someone who is in Diani. Correct. And, and the rest. Or even a better experience. Experience. Even depending, a better experience. Yes, depending on their preferences. You uh -huh. know, not everybody wants the, to see the ocean or the beach. You want to experience something new, something different. Yeah, right. uh, as uh, you're saying about uh, marketing the places, the uh, the destinations that we have in Kenya, I would not say it's only re uh, relied to the government. I think we also have a part to play. And yeah, the private sector. So, yes, as Because you are a sector. private sector. Exactly, exactly. Oh. So it is also our job as uh, now the private sector to market our country. Just don't show, like, uh, if you talk to someone, uh, uh, you know, like a foreigner, ask them what they know about Kenya. They'll say, uh, we know we are known for running, you know, the marathons. We are known for Mara. But we have so many other travel destinations in Kenya. But why are we not marketing Kenya as a right. travel destination? And it has so many places that you'd go. Just like I've given you an example of Kajiado. Right. You, you can't tell me something uh, from the top of your head, a destination you know in Kajiado, but right. whose fault is it? It's our fault as the private sector and also our government, uh, but right. uh, I think it's a 50-50 kind of job. We right. need to do it, both of us, yes. Awesome, fantastic. Yes. Before you tell us uh, who, who do a lot of vacations and staycations, yes. uh, do you feel like it's possible to have a foreigner, mm -hmm. maybe a Mzungu from? the u.s mm -hmm. and i do so much about kenya in terms of the best places to enjoy during the holiday destination mm -hmm. than somebody who was born here also even raised in that county but that didn't happen in that location is it possible to have that Very or possible. even it's true it <laughs> there's people who come from this location now <laughs> anything it about is. where they they come from 
It is. In fact, uh, amazingly, uh, I'd say most of my clientele are Kenyans in diaspora. Like, Kenyans in diaspora. Yeah, Kenyans in diaspora. Like, they'll call you and tell you, Rispa, I've seen ABCD place. I want to go there. I've never experienced that place. You see, most of them may, maybe went to diaspora when they were young, and uh, they, ha they didn't get an opportunity. Or by then, those places were not there. The establishments were not there. So most of them, you hear them saying, hey, I've seen someone say, and you see it's a foreigner in that foreign country. I've seen someone travel to this place, and it yeah. looks amazing. Would uh -huh. you plan a vacation for me to that place? I want to uh -huh. go and experience it. So it is very true. Then uh, you like, uh, I don't want to mention the names, but there is this foreign couples. They right. travel all over the world. They the travel. So, yes. Mostly. So they are the uh -huh. people who come and even make us discover that uh -huh. we have a destination in this country in, in that is yeah. yet to be explored. Yes. Right. Yes. And, and South Africa is actually among the best that has invested a lot in the tourism yes. and, and uh, hospitality industry as well. Yes. When you compare it to Kenya, maybe do you feel like uh, we have like maybe a thousand steps to reach to that level? like the way South Africa does. Actually, mm -hmm. if, you, if you do a little research, you realize most of the international stars or people from uh, foreign countries have visited a lot of uh, South Africa, Nigeria, and maybe a lot of uh, uh, West African countries. Mm -hmm. Do you think maybe there's something for us as Kenyans that we're not doing to reach to that international level? You yeah. said the government uh, also needs to play a role, but yes. also the private sector. Yes. I think, uh, as I've told you, we have so many travel destinations here in Kenya. What we've not done is the marketing, you know, making making that noise to make us know that in Kenya there is ABCD, there are all these destinations that you can travel to. So I think it's just a, a matter of marketing us, or marketing yeah. ourselves and yeah. doing it hard, going it hard and I believe we can get to their levels because when you check, as you've mentioned the South Africa, we can't say that they have so many destinations yeah. compared to Kenya. Uh, in but fact, just how they market it. It's how they market it. Yes, yeah. it is how they market it. Like okay. uh, the other day, I was talking with a friend and I uh, was asking them if uh, you were to compare Rwanda and Kenya, right. you, you'd say Rwanda has, you know, all these destinations. It's this. And it's a very it, tiny country. <laughs> exactly. A very small yeah. country. Like in Kigali, it's a very s tiny town. But yeah. the way they market themselves, the way they talk about their country right. with passion, I think if we get that drive and that energy, we would get there as Kenya. Because Kenya is very rich, very right. rich in th those destinations. Do yes. you also feel like maybe uh, young people, uh -huh. or es especially when it comes now to learning institutions or schools, they need to be taught about, you know, embrace your culture, uh -huh. learn about some of the, you know, good places where you come from, uh -huh. can even talk about it whenever you're doing projects, because uh -huh. most of us, in fact, <laughs> some of us, when you lisoma and when you nafanya kazi, it's like two countries apart. So, ulisoma Western, ukakuja Nairobi, ukasawakila kitu, ulisoma Mombasa, ukakuja Nairobi, ukasawakila kitu. It's like people are bound on where uh -huh. they come from. So, uh -huh. by the time, at uh, your 50, now, as a senator, when I'm a combo cat, eh, combo in Kwanatoka, the yes, yes, yes. And yeah, do you feel like also that kind of sensitization mm -hmm. of even it should be taught, included in the curriculum? Yes. Let's learn about the best sports for yes. our country so that when you work or when you go abroad, mm -hmm. you are a PR agency to mm -hmm. other people as well. You know, yeah, that is very true. And, uh, in fact, if it were to be added to the curriculum, would make it better because now when you grow up, like when we were learning when we were young, there are those physical features that we used to learn in back then, in the days that the physical features you have, what are the natural, what are they called, the natural whatever that we have, like the Great Lakes. You yeah. learn this Lake Naivasha, this Lake Lamentator, this Nakuru. But if that was inculcated in our curriculum right. and we were able to all learn, Right. I think by now, we, as you're saying, we'd be, you know, the yeah, spokespeople of uh, our country. Progress. Yes, uh -huh. marketing our country just from the right. top of your head. And uh -huh. you're like, we have ABCD destination in our country. So, yeah, it, yeah. Would, be a, it would be a great idea if that is in, in put right. in our curriculum. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Uh, let's get back to your business still. Yes. Um, exotic to us, uh, mm -hmm. exotic vacations. vacations yes. uh, if, if someone, maybe if you can take us to like that Kashot manual of mm -hmm booking a vacation with you. Mm -hmm. So uh, if maybe I want to go to Diani, how yes. do I go about it? Mm -hmm. Do you have like an app on Play Store, App Store, or presence on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, mm -hmm. so that I can reach out maybe with a number? And then uh, what is the conversation? What is the first, first conversation you have? Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. Rispa, I yes. want to go to Diani. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the next uh, question mm -hmm. you're asking them on phone? OK. On phone, I'd uh, ask you first the number of people that you uh, wish to travel. 
the dates that you're looking at, that is the month, the date, and uh, if you have any budget or you're open to having any experience. So that is, uh, from there we are able to customize a package from you, for you, sorry. Uh, so depending with what we give you, now from there we are able to engage you, tell us maybe I'm uh, looking at a budget of this, I'm looking at uh, Indiani, I want to go maybe for the excursions, I want to, you know, the dolphin watching and all that. So from uh, just a normal conversation, we are able to have a customized package for you and from there we do the bookings for you. Then you're able to tell us, do you need us to provide transport? Do you want us to, to, to provide the hotel transfers? Maybe if you're moving from Nairobi to Diani, do you need to, what, what means of transport do you prefer? Do you prefer flight? Do you prefer SGR? Do you prefer road? So it's depending with what the client tells us. Then yeah. from there we book and uh, we customize the package until you're satisfied and content with what we have given you, then we do the bookings. Right. Uh, yes. Roughly, uh, how much would that be? For example, you mentioned story of light. Yes. Uh, meaning, for example, somebody is coming from, let's imagine from Nakuru, mm -hmm. uh, Nakuja, Apiti Nairobi. Yes. Do and the JKI, Emma Wilson. Yes. Do and uh, Diani. So yes. how much would that roughly be in terms of the amount uh, from Nakuru, yeah, from Knox uh -huh. to Nairobi, and then Wilson or JKIA to uh, Mombasa, or Dia, whatever yeah, okay. destination. From Nakuru, okay. If you are offering, are we offering transport from Nakuru or from Nairobi? Yeah, sure. Uh, maybe maybe we can omit the transport. Yes. Maybe maybe I'm spend pesos. Okay. Like, uh -huh. yeah, so from Nakuru, from Nakuru to Nairobi. Nairobi. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. From there, you can now do the thing to, okay. to the holiday destination. Yeah. For Diani, we have, uh, that is for SGR package, we mm -hmm. have from as low as 7,500. 7,000? 7, yes, mm -hmm. 7,500, that is for two days and one night. Two days, one night. Yes, two and days. That's it. And that's food it. Food guaranteed? Food accommodation, food, and uh, now the transport, the SGR, the transfers. That is to and fro one way? Y that is uh, to and fro. Oh, to and fro? Yeah, return. Boy, you that guys. Is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. 7,500. That's, yes. that, that's quite a good, yes. uh, good amount, yes. affordable, I'd say. Yes, uh -huh. it's affordable. Another and one? that's why I was telling you, we work with every client's budget. So uh, people don't need to say that uh, travel is just left for the high, you know, Mm -hmm. it's People everybody can wealthier, travel yes you know. everybody you can, can travel, travel. C -c correct mm -hmm. what about yes. flight now that's it so for flight that one will start from around thirteen thousand. Mm -hmm. yes thereabouts yeah because yes. when you look at uh, am i allowed to mention the flights anyways there are national carriers uh, yes. for example kenya Airways, which yes. is the national carrier yes uh, it's, it's, it, they say it's one of the most expensive actually kq i don't know from your experience as a private sector Depends. from kq jumbo jet jumbo i've jet. used jumbo jet before mm -hmm. uh, there's this other one in it is it's a fine link of fly sucks mm -hmm. uh, some of the which is the most affordable one uh, for I'd you as well because i know they also charge you something if yes. you work with them yes yes uh -huh. i'd say depending with the destination where you're going like for the south coast the diani mm -hmm. uh, jumbo jet is the most preferred one oh, jumbo jet yeah, is the most jumbo preferred jet. yes mm -hmm. yes then uh, there's the safari link all right mm -hmm. so thirteen thousand pure to yes. and fro to and fro that is per person sharing per person sharing. Uh, single person yes uh -huh. Yes, meaning that you're sharing with someone else. You're, you're sharing with someone. Yeah, because yeah. when you travel like, by yourself, yeah, yeah. a single travel, that is what we call them, single, single it becomes travel. a bit expensive because yeah. for the room and everything. But when you two of you, you yeah. get a double room, which is yeah. very cheap for both yeah. of you. Yes. So are you aware that maybe when you figure at the destination, you'll find a Muzungu or somebody from another place? Ama yeah. you guys will know each other prior. Or no, or no, uh, no it's, it's, it's yeah. you were at your time of booking. That is why I've asked how many people are you traveling with okay. so that you can be able to, uh, you know, customize a package for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, which is cheaper when you're traveling alone. more than one person one than alone. Yes, yeah. alone becomes a bit expensive. Because actually, I've, 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 I've had a friend who spent like almost 50,000. I'm, I'm in on a flight, mm -hmm. I'm in on a Kurudi, and then yours is only one person. Yes. But you're only spending 13,000 yes. via your agency now. Yes. That's affordable, yes, really. Yes, because, uh -huh. uh, you know, from the agency, you have, you, you know, you have uh, relations with the hotels, you have relations with the, you know, you have, uh, you have networked with the flights, uh, the SGR people, so you are able to get a good rates for your clients. You are able to get negotiated uh, rates for your clients. Right. Yes. 
uh, in Nairobi here, um, uh, uh, actually Kilimani is like yes. on top of the list where people go to for staycations. And mm -hmm. you've mentioned you mentioned Airbnbs behind uh, before we come off air. Yes. Uh, do you think uh, that is like the latest trend in that space where a lot of people are going for Airbnbs? Mm -hmm. But then uh, there was also a complaint. Could it be last year when somebody uh, was saying what uh, cameras, kwa bafu, kwa mm -hmm kwa bathrooms, yes. uh, kwa bedrooms. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so you, I don't know what, what's happening in that space because <laughs> I don't know if somebody got exposed, they did something and the video went viral mm -hmm. and it, it just so happened that it's the management of that hotel that posted, you know, what was happening. Mm -hmm. uh, please, if you can tell us uh, mm -hmm. what could be possibly booming because mm -hmm. the Airbnbs are the latest thing now. Yes. Like, hey, man, to NBB, kila, Kilimani. Kilimani. Maybe are there are also other places that are as dope as Kilimani. You mm -hmm. can also talk about that. Yeah, uh, Kilimani is one of the highest uh, places with the uh, highest bookings in terms of Airbnbs and yes it's a, bo it's a booming business and uh, there are other places uh, just like I mentioned uh, when we are off air this is uh, Kileleshwa, this is Westlands so they come ranking in that way Kilimani, Kileleshwa and Westlands nice. and um, on in the in terms of the, the camera as you're saying yeah, uh, security actually. yeah the that security. is privacy yeah that is privacy, <laughs> privacy. invading on yeah. people's privacy because why do we need a camera in uh, the bathroom you know but yeah. uh, Kenyans are cunning yeah, yeah so uh, at times uh, because these are houses that uh, you're given leeway to you use the house for the weekend maybe for the weekend to get away with the staycations and uh, you see you you go with other intentions like you're not there just to have yeah. a nice time a good time you're there you go you destroy somebody's property especially this young campus yes. you know the young campus people uh, <laughs> they, are, they are all energetic <laughs> exactly. you know so that is a cost to the owner of the BNB. Uh -huh. So that is where you find that most of them they put cameras. Cameras but, uh, to uh, just have surveillance exactly. on who did uh, what and exactly. what happened. Yes, you but know. Uh, also I think there is limit to the you know the surveillance bit of it. So like in the bathrooms and private spaces, uh, I don't think that uh, would mm -hmm. need cameras in such places. Just for someone to feel you know you don't want to go do your business and you think you're looking up. Maybe someone is looking at me. So. Yeah. I think yeah, there's just limitation to the, to it. But uh, the cunning bit of it, like uh, you know, last year there was also another episode that someone yeah. just go and hire Airbnb. Then you go. That is yeah. not fair at all because. I'm a gas yote gas yote a a, within a day, <laughs> gas yote, 13 kg is done because Imesha. you've done all your series there, and uh, mm -hmm. it's really not fair for the you know for that the business for that person. business as yes, well. Yes, Would yes. you say that's like also one of the, of the main challenges you face in that sector? Like yes. you know. Yes, yeah, somebody is coming as a client, mm -hmm. and they're, they're paying the money, mm -hmm. but they're leaving you with a loss, a huge loss mm -hmm. that you you remain to deal with. Yes. And the money they've paid you is not even enough to incur that cost that they've cost you. Exactly. Like, uh, mm -hmm. say, in uh, just a Kawaida uh, BNB, you see, right. in a day, maybe you'd spend like, say, 2,500 2, to a range of 4,000, but yeah. you come, use the whole gas, the, the measures, you Dumps, vunge the, the, you the, the glasses, the cups. Yeah. So by the time you're living you've left me with a loss of around 10 to 15,000 so you yeah. see that is why you find that so many people are even going for the cameras because right. you want you know you want to see what this person did and What's you're able doing. to hold them accountable yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. But are you also feeling as much as yes you're you're, <laughs> you're hoping for the best but also preparing for the, the worst. worst. Yes. Do you feel also feel like it's 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 appropriate to inform that this client that you know what Kuna ka camera to make a new light. Mm -hmm. Ama kuna ka camera po koyo shimo ya, ya, ya bathtub. Mm -hmm. Just in case you do something. Yes. But I don't think somebody will be comfortable to sit. Because uh, when I checked that conversation of this guy who was complaining, it, it, it was actually one of the five-star hotels mm -hmm. where they have a camera adequa lamp, e lamp yeah. The bedside. <laughs> lamp, yeah, yeah bedside, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, in the bathroom, even in the e e e e toilet, yeah, men's, they have like a, a hidden camera up. So it's recording everything from when you shower <laughs> to when you change it. So I'm like, wow, wow, wow. Could be these people are just watching you. So I was yeah. like, please, <laughs> if you want to do anything private, we see and I stuck a convention hotel. <laughs> yes, but yes. I was like, maybe it's appropriate to just like let the clients know. Mm -hmm. But the way, Huku, we have mm -hmm. surveillance mm -hmm. and you're being watched 24-7. Mm -hmm. Amar, what do you think about that? Yeah, uh, my opinion, I would say yes. It's good to inform 
tell someone that, uh, you know, first to give them the terms and conditions, the, uh, the, the rules that uh, you give someone before you get to the house, this ABCD, if you break ABCD, these are the consequences and all that. Eh? But also, uh, it's also good to inform someone. You see, when um, you tell someone that they are being watched, of course they'll be cautious. They'll, be, they'll take care of your staff and everything. But again, there's limit, as I was saying, there's limit. You just can't go and put a camera in the washroom of, you know, the men's washroom, as you're saying, eco hapo. So when you're doing about your business, you know there's somebody who's watching. You, you know, I think there's just limit to the surveillance bit of it. Th that is invasion of privacy. Yeah. Yes, yes. And, and, and do you feel like maybe it's, it's happening in a, in a lot of five star, five star? Hotels. <laughs> I wouldn't we, say we don't a lot. I places. wouldn't say. I think a lot is a huge word. Just say quite yeah. okay. F a few, a few of them, a few yeah. of them. Yes, but uh, it's not a lot because there are those that you know they deal with trust. Like in this business, all that people work with is trust and credibility. If you know that you offer good services, why would someone just come to your hotel and destroy and cause damages? You see, yeah. like. Yes, there are those accidents that happen. Maybe you'd be using a glass and it slips and falls. Yeah. And that, that is just one out of maybe 10 or 20 people. So it's just as we said, is, uh, you, you plan, but you prepare for the worst. But I, I think for the hotels, uh, maybe that is something that is in the Airbnbs, because that is a kind of private thing. But for hotels and uh, restaurants, uh, yeah. I think they've uh, you know shied away from the cameras and all that. Right. Yes, yes. Awesome. because of course there's competition. So if uh, people know that your hotel is cameras, they'll yeah. go to the competition. Yeah, yes, true. Yes. Um, also, which are some of the best places to do uh, vacations? Vacation? Mm -hmm. Also staycation slash uh -huh. in Nairobi so far so good. Uh -huh. In Nairobi... Also with the Airbnb, you can incorporate the Airbnb side mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, so for Airbnb that is Kilimani. Kilimani, Kilimani is, year ranks is the, the uh -huh. top. At top, yes, Kilimani is for Airbnbs. Uh -huh. But uh, for Nairobi that is depends, this is the Nairobi National Park. Yes, mm -hmm. It depends with what you're looking for. If you want a safari, you can go to Nairobi National Park. If you want, maybe a staycation, there are very big hotels here. I don't want to mention names, but mm -hmm. there's so many hotels here. There's many in uh, Nairobi CBD. There's many, there are in uh, Westlands. So, yes, in Nairobi, yeah. we have destinations too. You mentioned Nairobi National Park in yes. Kakumbuka. <laughs> uh, was it Giraffe Center? Is yes, it called Giraffe, Giraffe Center. Center? Yeah, yeah, Giraffe Center. Uh, it recently trended on Twitter. I think it was like two months ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> the people are complaining that, you know, if you call Giraffe <laughs> Center speaking with a uh, local English, they'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> you're told we, we no don't wrong. understand what you're talking about. <laughs> and then somebody made a meme, Kasemate, call them with my Ugandan accent or can refer to a giraffe. Or like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's also one of the best places so far. I've never Correct. been there. Though, at Giraffe Center. Mr. Sakwa, you need to talk to us. I need to take no, you to no. places Guys, in this country. Guys, you want to You know where I'm going. You know. Yes, you, you, you need to take me. You can't be in Nairobi and you've not been to the Nairobi National Park. To be National honest, Park. I swear to God, it's Jakuwa your place. Okay. But I've seen a lot of my friends, so my post son, I mm -hmm. think it's dope. Especially what you feed giraffe. It is. Yeah, giraffe mana. Mana, what you feed. I'm like, yes. hey, yeah, you guys are bowling. Yes, <laughs> I yes. can't wait. <laughs> and even the, the, the park itself. Uh -huh. so, yeah, they are the, the big five. You'll go and watch them early in the morning, before yeah. six. Yeah, they are all out there. You're yeah. able to see them just here at the backyard. Right. Yes, yes, yes. So, so people, and also the sunshine, the sunset mm -hmm. in Nairobi, the especially if you are on top of, rise. like, uh, hey, the sunrise and sunset is really correct, dope, correct, epic. Correct, correct, yeah. correct, correct. So right. in every place, in each part of the country that you're in, there's yeah. a place you can go to travel in. Just like you were saying as we started this interview, in Bungoma, you'll find places that you can go and, you know, have a vacation. Yeah, can do it. Yes. <laughs> I've been to Bungoma many times, so I know yes. some of the places. Exactly, exactly. So uh -huh. in each part of this country, in each yeah. county, there's a place to go to. Right. Yes. So all you need to know is discover it and know it. Right. Yes. Now for you as well, in terms of client, uh, client feedback, uh, what are the comments you're getting from people? Mm -hmm. uh, are they, is, is, it good, is it good feedback? Because feedback is like also a big factor when yes. it comes to client outreach, mm -hmm. uh, servicing and whatnot. Mm -hmm. What do people tell you after they've experienced uh, you know, vacation or staycation with you? Mm -hmm. do they, you know, there's those they call, they'll be like, hey, it's a kumbuki buana, but thanks if you used our services. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And also, for example, if a client and I say, I'm feedback, like, hey, 
enyewe uliko unasema you offer job services but i feel i feel like i didn't get the value for, money. for my money mm -hmm. so if dealing with such feedback kama there's those that are naturally combative actually when you're meeting different people kuna mtu yes. akona sira zake kuna mwingine <laughs> you know amezoea kugombanisha kuna mwingine yes. na kuprojectia anger issues yes. so how do you deal with clients who have different mindsets experiences yeah. okay uh, for us what we do we walk the journey with you from the moment you start the booking with us. As I was saying, we start, we, we curate, we customize a, uh, a package for you, depending with the experience that you want and the budget that you want. So from the word go, from the start, that is where we start with you. The day of travel, we do a follow-up, we call you. Like uh, maybe you're using the SGR, there's the early train that goes from, uh, that starts from seven. We call you, are you at the SGR station? How is it? Did you get there on time? You tell us, like, the whole journey. Have you gotten to, uh, to Mariakani uh, SDR station? Have, uh, uh, is our person there to come and pick you, to transfer you to your hotel? How is the experience? Was, were they on time? Uh, did they take you, like, you know, the whole thing. We're able to get to you, to, to walk with you through the whole experience. When you get to the hotel, you had booked, you know, in uh, the hotels we have different kind of rooms. Maybe you had booked a... Uh, sea view hotel you uh, room sorry you had booked a pool view room were you given that room that you had said is the room okay is it clean is it according to your specification so we walk with you through so we get instant feedback uh -huh. at you know real time so if mm -hmm. it's something maybe it's with a hotel it's something that you can talk to them something they can improve on so we are able to get real time mm -hmm. uh, feedback. feedback from the from clients. clients so and from there we are able to work on it Right. So I'd say, yes, we've gotten the, the good. The good, of course, outweighs the bad. Maybe it's from our end, so we, we strive to work and improve on it. Maybe right. it's uh, beyond our control. It's a hotel thing. It's, maybe it's a natural calamity that has occurred that was, you know, we had not seen yeah. and uh, or predicted that it would happen. But uh, right. we try our very best and also be able to manage you know, the mm -hmm. tempers of every person. Uh, yes. What if an accident happens? For example, I'm uh, talking mm -hmm. your Airbnb, for instance, and then for mm -hmm. <laughs> movies. Yes. The light in Anguka, like, or on our two tap him and gonga. Yes. So, for like, let's imagine like such a thing is happening. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a trip, I'm a bed light in my Anguka, okay. okay. yes. Do you like cater for injury or accidents as well? I'm a mm -hmm. insurance, yako mwenyewe, and your cost. Okay. Uh uh, for, oh, you know, we'd say that, uh, you know, like that is, is the unforeseen that I'd said, uh, I'd previously said. Uh, so for such unforeseen, uh, I think we deal with them as they come. So like for, for example, something like that, for, uh, for false, um, uh, someone, you know, Trips, trips and, and falls and uh, <coughs> you, you break or something. From that we can be able maybe to handle with the Airbnb person. Is it something that was faulty? Come on, late in Anguka, was it faulty? You see, mm -hmm. if it was faulty at the, that point, uh, that means it's the person who owns the Airbnb to take care of that cost. Okay. So, yeah, there's some. it depends with the situation, the way it is, and wow. uh, we'd handle it case on case basis. Okay, yes. awesome. I, th I think also season, like mm -hmm. timing, mm -hmm. is also uh, part of your your manual in terms of holiday destinations or going yes. to vacations, especially for those that travel maybe to Diani and the rest. Yes. Uh, which are the best seasons to go for, let's say, holidays uh, or chill and relax? Amata Saisa, you Zenda. <laughs> Anytime. Holiday, it's uh -huh. independent with the client, with the person themselves. But uh -huh. like uh, for the, na the natural ones, like now I'd, I'd mentioned the wildebeest migration, now. the best time is now. Is now. That is from mid-June to all the way End of, August, end of August, that is when you'll see the world beast migration, the spe spectacular, you know, phenomenon. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but for the rest, like uh, the beach, the ocean is always there. But also depending with the weather. Like right mm -hmm. now, it's, it was a bit cold, at least today it's bright. Is it just cold? <laughs> is it just <laughs> winter in Nairobi? <laughs> yes. No, I'm up so in Mombasa. In Mombasa uh, like you mentioned over the weekend, uh, there was a lot of activities in Diani. Yes, and I yes, was just yes. saying the Insta story. Yes, it yes, seems yes, like yes. the weather is different too, Kona. But I think the weather patterns have changed. Like uh -huh. you see right now, like for the last two, three days in Nairobi yeah. at least. It's been Minnesota. extremely hot, yes, by the yes, way, yes, during yes. the day. Yes, so um, I'd say the best time to travel to Diani, the, the coasts that is, uh, is uh, during you know the summer season would say starting november mwishapo december 
August all the way this January. So when it's not cold, for you to enjoy and see, yes, Niko Mombasa, because Mombasa or Diani, it's known for the hot weather. Right. And yes. All right. Uh, families that go yes. for vacations, uh, do you also have that, that package? Like yes. to say my mother, father, son, daughter, like mm -hmm. that whole family thing. Yes. Do you, we, we do you offer. offer that? Yes, we do offer. We give uh, the family vacations. That's why by the first questions, among the first questions that we ask you is how many people are traveling with you. So if it's a family, we give you a family package because for many hotels, you'll find that they have family rooms instead of giving the doubles or the singles that uh, they offer. So you find uh, the family rooms have uh, better packages. So yes, we offer those to families. All right. Yes. Uh, I have like three questions and then we exit before yes, you okay. give a uh, context of how people can reach out. Yes. Um, <clears throat> also, what, what are some of the changes that uh, perhaps you, you need to be made in that sector so that it also incorporates, because it's private, private again as public, uh, mm -hmm. so that the government can come in and support also uh, from an individual perspective. Maybe what do you think needs to be adjusted from the experience you've had being in that space? Mm -hmm. I'd say the very most important the, and the key thing is uh, vigorous marketing. We need to make ourselves known, both locally and uh, internationally. Back then in the days, there were some programs on even our local televisions where we would, or local stations where we would see the programs that uh, focus mainly on Kenya and the destinations. I don't know what happened to them uh, these days. They, they are rare. Yes, yes, they are there, but they are not as huge as they were back in the day. So from there, you were able to learn that in Kenya, not only um, can I go to Mombasa, can I go to Diani, can I go to the Great Lakes, there are other places I can also go to. So vigorous marketing is needed. To make, our, to make us, the Kenyans, know about the different uh, destinations that we can travel to mm -hmm. and also to make our country known as one of the travel destinations right. in, yes, in the world. Right, great. So great. Uh, well, okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. What do you enjoy most about uh, this whole uh, business that you do? The experience our clients get, mm -hmm. the feedback they give. They're like, mm -hmm. wow, I didn't know I would experience such. I didn't know that this existed, like uh, I didn't know, you know, we had this in our country. So getting positive and great experience for our clients, that is what gives, makes me happy. Right. Yes, yes. And how do you brace yourself for tough times? Of course, mm -hmm. uh, of course you, yours is a post-pandemic business. So yes. You, you're, you're a safe baby. <laughs> <laughs> Since yes. you're, you're, you're now in operation for two years. Yes, is for it two years. A year or two years uh, now? Two years. Two years now. Yes. Uh, so how do you brace yourself for tough times? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a finance person, no. so uh, when uh, you're ripping big, you put for, you know, the unforeseen for tomorrow, so you're able to balance yourself, and, uh, but uh, the thing is you must give, you know, your all and be consistent in what you're doing. Okay. So, yeah, for th that season, you're able to plan ahead, and uh, when you, you're getting it at this season, you plan for tomorrow. Right. Yes. Maybe any future adjustments that you're going to do to your business uh, to expand mm -hmm. its functionality, also its outreach. You mentioned you're big on social media. Yes. Maybe are you going to do a lot of outreach, collaborations, partnerships and whatnot? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, in terms of marketing, we, we've been uh, on social media and uh, we are also attending most of the travel expos. There uh -huh. are so many travel expos, especially in our country. Uh -huh. So from there, you're able to go network with other players in the, you know, the industry. You're able to market yourself. You're able to you know, brand your company, bring awareness about it. So yeah, uh, in terms of um, marketing myself, that, uh, that is uh, what we're planning. And also opening offices in different uh, locations in our country. I'm looking at uh, the next office to be based in Mombasa, which uh -huh. is also one of our biggest travel destination for our okay. clients. Yes. All right. Uh, lastly, mm -hmm. as we go, um, for somebody who has been watching and uh, they've been placed with this conversation and they want to book a, a vacation this Friday, a yes. staycation, yes. and they want to reach out to you, where can mm -hmm. they find you? Are you on digital, social media? Mm -hmm. Do you have a number? Do you have an email? Please talk to them. And also, yes. what if the advantage yes. of them booking mm -hmm. that staycation or vacation with you, uh, this is your camera. Okay. Right. Uh, thank you. Uh, if uh, you want to reach us, we are at Exotic Vacations on all socials. That is uh, Instagram. Uh, Facebook and we also on TikTok, Exotic Vacations. 
and our number is uh, 0791 601 triple five that is zero seven nine one six zero one five 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 our email address is info at exoticvacations.co.ke so for there you're going to find us give us your needs what you want to where you want to travel to the number of people you want to travel with and uh, the, your preferred destinations and from there we are able to give you a best package and we work around your budget and experience right. thank you all right thank you so much Rispa. remember something about uh, team building you yes. know there's usually charges that do a lot of that especially towards end year uh, do you also offer like a group like what to come up cool maybe yes uh, like a half school one and uh, to do something yeah. yes we we, uh -huh. we offer we offer that for groups we also have groups packages group especially packages. yes group packages like okay. uh, the churches as you've mentioned they've been going to egypt israel we offer oh, that even outside country yes 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 uh, we plan okay. that yes for school trips those who want to go for trips you know for, mm. for the kids we also offer that we have all those packages all right. yes yes and and thank you so much now you know <laughs> <laughs> if you have been having a boring day <laughs> you know who to call yes. right and uh, thank you so much Rispa, for coming through and sharing your business insights and the whole experience. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Yes. We have been speaking to Rispa Mashare. She is the managing director of Exotic Vacations, just telling us how it feels and the experience and some of the good things that are in the tours and the travels industry as well. And on this note is where we're going to take a very short break on that hashtag, which is hashtag why in the morning. Y244 channel underscore on the ground with verified with the blue check mark. Mines is a brand Sakwan one. We take a break, we come back with much more. Please don't change the channel. <laughs>